When it comes to deciding which type of unsecured financing that you need for your business, the number one factor is going to be time. If you need a deal done yesterday, it's got to be virtually cash advance. That's the only option for you, or it's some type of what they call embedded financing. So if you're a seller on Amazon or Shopify or one of those, one of those on time, uh, online retail uh, sellers that has a platform where you can, obviously, if you sell your merchandise, eBay is another one. Uh, they'll also offer loans as well for their sellers. So you could actually, you could do a loan with them and they just hold X percentage that you agree to. It's 15 to 20% of the revenue that comes in every single day. Whereas merchant cash and it's, it's just a set amount that you pay daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on the loan, the, the lender and, and the loan. So if it's time, it's gotta be one of those two options, merchant cash and meets or some type of embedded financing. There's some line of credit lenders that, it typically takes at least a day to get done, if not two days sometimes, just depending on all the documents that they're asking for. Especially if they ask for a tax return, you'll have to provide the tax return, then sign a, I forget the name of the term off the top of my head, but it's an IRS form that releases your tax transcripts. I believe it's a 4506T. So you, you have to sign that, releases it, but it takes two days for the IRS to release it to the lender so they can verify that your tax information is correct. So if they ask for a tax return, that's why it takes a couple of days. But again, one day or less, one to two days or less, you need to do virtual cash advance or embedded financing. You try, you try line of credit as well. If you need it done in you know, a week or two, I would try it. Or if a week or less, I would try to do line of credit or virtual cash advance. Line of credit is going to have better terms typically. It's going to be, be anywhere from six to 24 months. As far as the payback, typically the interest rates are better too. But they're pretty comparable to if you get good offers from the best merchant cash advance lenders as well. And I, again, I have all this information. It's going to be in the next tab. I have a list of all the lenders that I've worked with in the last five years or gathered information from. And it lists all the details that you need to know. And you can also apply from there as well, too. But uh, yeah, week or less, it's going to be line of credit or merchant cash advance or embedded financing. And if you wait a, wait a week or two, typically, you wait two weeks, you can maybe get a term loan done. The thing I'll say about term loans is I, like I said, I've been doing this for five years. I don't hear a lot of people doing term loans. Like when I talk to other people in the industry that are helping their clients, I don't hear a lot of term loans getting done. I hear a lot of SBA loans getting done, but not term loans. The only place that I would try to do a term loan is smart biz. I'm just, I'm a big fan of smart biz because when they take your information, I went over this in the SBA course, but when, when they take your information, they look to see if you qualify for the SBA loan, the term loan, or their line of credit. Their line of credit, they can get done in two days, two to three days. Their term loan, it will take two weeks or less, typically one to two weeks. And then the uh, SBA loan will take, um, SBA loan will typically take five to six weeks to get done, the 7A. So again, it just, you know, it depends on timing. The other big, the big factor is going to be loan amount. How much money do you need? If you need more than, $500,000, then smart biz is not going to be a good option for you. You're going to have to check with, it, it's got to be merchant cash advance or an SBA loan through new tech, or maybe you're another SBA lender or bank out there. But term loans will go, typically they won't go under over 300,000. Line of credit, I only know one lender right now that's going up to 350,000. That's Idea Financial. On deck, I believe goes to 200. Headway Capital, I believe it only goes up to 100,000. With the past year, that we're recording this at the end of 2024. In the past year or two years, a lot of lenders have tightened their restrictions on lending, their parameters on lending. So the dollar amounts have also gone, gone down. So hopefully those go back up in the next year as the economy gets better. But uh, again, time is going to be your number one factor. Then it's loan amount. And then from there, maybe you're looking at different interest rates and things like that and, and the payment types. But like I said, I'll have all of that labeled out by interest rate, by term loan. I'm sorry, by the term, by the amount that you can qualify for, the credit rate, the credit score that's needed. These are all coming to factors. And there's hundreds of lenders out there. So that's why I provide all this information for you all, just so you can give yourself the best decision.